Hey, everybody. This is a clip from the latest episode of The Randy Road Show. If you want the full episode, you can watch live on Free Speech TV, Dish Channel 9415, Direct TV 348, Sling, Roku, and Apple TV. Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show, and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey! It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. He's doing his constitutional duty, which which might not duty. He, he's doing what is um, allowed in the Constitution. No, Democrats he, was, no have, but he wasn't. Well, and he Demo- was calling for something else. Right. Yeah, they're well, talking Democrats about Ted Cruz. In the past, uh, this is uh, almost besides the point because of what's going on here. But Democrats <laughs> in the past, and you've pointed this out, um, have objected during this process, but they haven't done it at the behest of a candidate who refuses to concede the election. That has never happened. And that is the big difference here, because that is what these uh, these people, these rioters are responding to. They're responding to the president and his enablers on Capitol Hill. You know, I think about how we started this day and I, I you know, not looking back too far, but just as to recall that hours ago we were talking about the way in which Republicans had uh, fed these conspiracy theories and coddled them for many, many months and even years, yeah. living in this imaginary world created by Donald Trump. And they had lost control of that, not knowing that hours later we'd be looking at this incredible scene. But this is the consequence of oh, yeah, they knew. years of people in Washington refusing to have the courage to stand up and say, right is right and wrong is wrong. And there are facts and there are fictions in the world. And there was a time in this town Look when the people. differences between the two parties were about policy. They were about taxation. They were about uh, the role of government. Now the differences between the two parties are about who believes in facts and who doesn't. <laughs> Ulysses that S. should not be the case, but that is what we are dealing with right now. And I know because I talk to Republicans all the time who privately will say yeah, that's that the- they want to get back to that time where they were talking about oh, things please. that really mattered, but they can't. They because can't. Because they have nurtured this monster and now it is devouring them. Ulysses S. Grant said in, 19, said in 1861, there are now but two parties, patriots, patriots and, and traitors. And it is time for the Kevin McCarthy's and the Josh Hawley's of the world to decide which party they're in. Um, I have my idea about what that might be. Anderson. Jake, Wolf. thanks very much. We uh, to, uh, say in the midst of all of this, all of this horrendous news that's going on here in Washington, something that none of us ever Expected we would see in the nation's capital. I just want to make it official right now. CNN can now project that the Democrats uh, will be the majority in the uh, U.S. Senate. Oh! John Ossoff, the Democratic candidate in Georgia, he is defeating David Perdue, the Republican candidate. Yes! Uh, earlier, we projected that the Democrat Raphael Warnock uh, will beat uh, Kelly Loeffler, yes! the Republican candidate. So it's 50 50 in the new U.S. Senate. Uh, oh! The new uh, vice president of the United States, uh, Kamala Harris, she will be, according to the Constitution, the president of the Senate. So she. Woohoo! The entire D.C. National Guard has now been activated. The Virginia State Police is now in Washington, D.C., putting down a freaking insurrection led by the motliest of the motley crews. It's an insult to us, uh, Nikki Six, to even say motley crew. It is. It's an insult. I apologize. <laughs> Kickstart my heart, everybody. Uh, and now we have just one majority control of the Senate, which means we have all the committees, all the chairmanships of all the committees, and guess what that also means? It means Chuck Schumer is now the majority leader, and Mitch the bitch can just go step aside. He has no say in what we get to vote on anymore. And by the way, Biden will get his cabinet, 
Today, he has said that his pick for attorney general is Merrick Garland. In a unbelievable coda to Merrick Garland being just set aside and not even given a hearing as a Supreme Court justice because of Mitch the bitch. He will now become the attorney general of the United States easily. Now, the reason why Biden was holding off on announcing Merrick Garland is because Merrick Garland has a very important uh, seat on the D.C., the, the 10th Circuit Court, which is just about the place where every single Supreme Court justice comes from. So I don't know why. But that's just the way it is or has been. And he wasn't going to be able to fill that seat with Mitch McConnell as the majority leader. So he didn't want to pluck out Merrick Garland from that court seat. And now he can because we have sane people in charge of judicial confirmations. I just pray to God. You know, I love Dick Durbin. I think he's a really, really great senator. He's hung on a really long time. I think Diane Feinstein uh, is 87 years old. I think she will reluctantly or not so reluctantly perhaps she will joyfully step aside as next in line to be the chairman of the judiciary committee perhaps and in that in that case dick durbin would then be the next in line but the one after him is the one that brett and i we just have a i have this long distance romance and brett has this bromance with sheldon whitehouse he's brilliant He's absolutely brilliant. I think you remember during the confirmation uh, hearings of Amy Comey Barrett, uh, where she was rushed through just like three days ahead of an election because Donald Trump thought she would interfere for that idiot caller that doesn't understand that the Supreme Court has to be petitioned by somebody with a beef to hear their case. They don't just insert themselves. Okay, but Donald Trump thought that Rudy could go to the Supreme Court, right, petition them, and that the three he picked, the Kavanaugh, the Gorsuch, and the Amy, would find for him and throw an election for him, and they weren't willing to do it. But that's why they rushed her through. And during that confirmation hearing, Sheldon Whitehouse explained to all of us the dark money that chooses who sits on the Supreme Court if a Republican is in charge of the confirmation process. It was disgusting. It was unbelievably worthwhile to listen to the recount of what goes on. That all comes to an end. Such a period on the end of a tumultuous period. It's very exciting what just happened today. And the lunatic fringe with their flags, Trump 2020 flags, and their their MAGA flags, and their QAnon flags. Do you know that they actually went to our Capitol? You see that flag there? That flag there was flown over our Capitol. It was flown for me. I won't get into the whole long story of it, but it was. And then it was sent to me in official bindings, okay? They tried to take the flag today that was flying over the Capitol building down and replace it with a Trump 2020 flag and a Q flag, okay? That's the lunatic fringe that this man has nursed from his ample breast. Gross, I know. You'll never get that out of your permanent Rolodex. Oh, I know. It was a groaner. But he, I'm telling you, what you watched here today was just... It was a sin. It was a crime. It was called insurrection. It is an act of sedition. And all those things happen because we have a president willing to commit treason. Hey, everybody. This is a clip from the latest episode of The Randy Road Show. If you want the full episode, you can watch live on Free Speech TV.